I mean, I've been in Youngsville for most of my life, but and I've never seen it this bad in Youngsville at all. On the second day of school, not much learning was happening at Green T. Linden Elementary. Um, got here and was told school's closed, so we're kind of stranded here now. Teachers prepared their classrooms for flooding, but when the school was deemed safe, Everybody's on the police turned one building into a shelter. My first thought is just worrying about the kids, the transportation, the buses. Um, my concern are, you know, my students live around here, so I want to make sure that they're okay. We have a lot of people that have at, at the least knee-deep water in their homes, so there's a lot of families there with young children, so we've been evacuating them from their homes. Youngsville police and firemen rescued families and even pets, bringing them to the shelter for safety. We do have a lot of good Samaritans that are trying to help, but it's great and more havoc because they're not familiar with the roadways and they're going in the ditches. We just ask everybody, if you need help, Call 911, get on the list so we can get out there to get you. If you have no reason to be on the roadways, please stay inside your house. In Youngsville, Travis Guillory, KTC TV3.